Ladies and gentlemen, today, a review of the Super Mario Brothers movie. Before I begin, I'm going to read a synopsis from IMDb. A Brooklyn plumber named Mario travels through the Mushroom Kingdom with princess named Peach and an anthropomorphic mushroom named Toad to find Mario's brother Luigi and to save the world from a ruthless fire-breathing Koopa named Bowser. The Mario Brothers franchise spans decades and a generation of people have enjoyed those games. And the fact that this movie has broken all kinds of records shows you that reach. I absolutely adore and love the Super Mario games and the franchise, and I have to say, this movie 100% lives up to that hype. I had a great time with this movie. It has a 57% on Rotten Tomatoes, and I don't understand that. I don't know if those reviewers are a little bit out of touch, but this movie is a lot better than that. It's way better than that. The story and plot carry through, it's actually coherent, the pacing is great, it's fun, it has a lot of fun action, and enough nostalgia to keep those Super Mario Brothers fans satisfied for sure, and enough new to keep you on your toes. No wonder everybody is watching this movie and enjoying it. The audience score is at a 98%, absolutely, totally deserved. A lot has been said and speculated on Chris Pratt's performance of Mario, and I have to say, he's great. He's a great Mario. There's a reason he doesn't always use the all traditional Mario voice throughout the entire movie, and that's kind of explained at the beginning, and I think that that was actually pretty clever and well done, and made it to where the rest of the movie, you don't think about it the entire time. And I have to say, that the filmmakers, the writers and directors, they made sure that they gave enough reverence to the franchise to actually hire the original voice of Mario and many of the other Mario characters, Charles Molinet, to be part of the movie. He actually plays Mario's father. And when you hear his voice, you instinctively know, hey, that's the real Mario. Jack Black steals the show as Bowser at the beginning of the movie. He has this really cool scene where it really kind of shows you the stakes and the menace of Bowser. And it's just done really well. If you've seen the trailers, you've seen it as well. Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach is great. She has a good time with the role. She kind of plays the mentor and guide to Mario, who is a fish out of water in this story and who's just come to the Mushroom Kingdom. And she kind of teaches him the ropes and helps him on his journey to find and save Luigi. And this movie is really about going in to save Bowser so that Mario can save his brother. And honestly, I think that's a really good way to kind of turn the story on its head a little bit. I think Keegan-Michael Key as Toad is really good and fun. He does, he does a lot with that character. His performance and the way they wrote his character was really awesome. And the way he overall fits in the story is just great. Charlie Day as Luigi is really fun too. There's actually a part of this movie where Luigi does get into a haunted mansion. A little nod to the video game players out there. And this whole movie is just done well. There is a really good chemistry between all of the character actors and you can really feel that. Jack Black definitely chews all the scenery and he has this amazing musical moment at the middle of the movie, which I'm sure many of you have already seen all over TikTok. There's definitely some criticisms here. It is an Illumination movie and it is a kid's movie, so it's filled with some contrivances of those movies like these random needle drops with pop music that are just kind of a little tired at this point. But at the end of the day, there's just so much fun and a nostalgia here that I can see why this movie is doing so well. It's pretty good. The story is coherent. The characters are fully fleshed out. You're really on a journey with these people. It's a fish out of water story and a saving the kingdom story. And it just works. I give the Super Mario Brothers an 8.5 out of 10 a really fun romp through the Mushroom Kingdom with characters and an ensemble cast that really work together. Chris Pratt as Mario is pretty good. You understand why he doesn't use the voice the whole movie and I think it worked. Jack Black, Jack Black as Browser is just great. He chews scenery in every single scene that he's in. The story and plot is actually pretty coherent and a, and a very fun, well-paced. There's enough Easter eggs and nostalgia and the animation. There's enough Easter eggs and nostalgia throughout the movie to, to keep Mario fans very, very satisfied, but also has enough humor and fun to keep non-Mario fans satisfied as well. And I can see why it's breaking all the records and most Mario fans are pretty satisfied with this movie. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Please like, comment, subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. I will do my best to always reply to any comments as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good one.